we are about to open our fourth show of a five show season. It's entitled Shakespeare's Will. It's a solo show about Anne Hathaway, Shakespeare's widow. And it's a very exciting opportunity to really get inside what that personal relationship might have been like. For 400 years, it's just been Shakespeare's point of view uh, and the biographers of Shakespeare idealizing him as a genius and uh, with little to no regard for the wife and children he left behind. And this blows the whole thing wide open. It says, what if we heard her story? What, what were her feelings? What were her reactions about all those aspects of the life? The children that they raised together, the love that she had for him, th the building of his work in her presence, the wealth that he acquired and shared with her, uh, his disappearance. There are many, there are decades of lost years when he didn't return home. And we do know that. And what was the impact of that? on this family and, and uh, the woman he left behind. A lot of people, when they see the title Shakespeare's Will, they say, oh, what is this? Is it actual Shakespeare's words, or is it contemporary? Is it modern? Um, is it classical? It is definitely a modern piece of theater, except the language feels otherworldly and of another time. I think the language is heightened poetry in a way that is reminiscent of what Shakespeare was doing. A Tudor, I say, in Lancashire. Lancashire, dear poaching pigs. Uh, yeah, another thing about Shakespeare's will that's great is that it is very easy to understand. The language is beautiful, but it's not um, hard to access. You do not need to know anything about Shakespeare's work or his wife, Anne Hathaway, to enjoy Shakespeare's will. The story will take you along on a journey and very explicitly illustrates their courtship and their marriage and their children and his going off to London. So you, it's even better if you come in with no preconceived notions of the story. Well, uh, how much of the play is fact versus fiction is really interesting because you know, given that it was the Elizabethan era, given that we really only have three pieces of paper in Shakespeare's own hand. And those three pieces of paper are his will. And his will has always been a source of great mystery because he has this very cryptic uh, bequest to his wife. This is an imagined story based on some of the facts that we know and then it plays with the few facts that we know uh, and, and fictionalizes them. People should come to see this show if you want an hour and 20 minute theatrical journey with a tour de force actress and some really beautiful stagecraft.